So this particular project began back in the year 2020 and uh, the, the project itself enhances quality child development to children and uh, the children that we are targeting are 38,700 and so far so good we've been able to reach those numbers and the project uh, targets uh, children from the marginalized communities and the informal settlements of uh, three counties. Our focus counties for the project have been Kajado County, Yamu County and Nairobi County. But not the entire county, it is just part of the sub-county. Now, this project was embedded on uh, uh, what we call the Natali Care Framework. It is a framework that looks at holistic child development. It looks on child nutrition, it looks on responsive caregiving, it looks on issues of um, early learning, and so forth and so on. And so, just to, to bring you to speed, uh, before we began the project, we were guided by three main objectives that I'm going to share with you. And the first objective was to improve awareness among caregivers. Uh, as you can see from this group, we have just a small representation of the caregivers that we've been working with. We have uh, preschool teachers, we have healthcare workers with us today, and we have, uh, we have uh, besides the, the healthcare workers, we also work with uh, the, the larger county, at the county level and also at the national level. And the second objective was to increase community engagement uh, through implementing early childhood development models where we come and showcase what we are able to do through the project and also to engage our stakeholders. We have so many other stakeholders who are participating in other programs, immunization programs and the like. So then we, we come together as stakeholders and we look into where the gaps are and then we work together as a team. But I must appreciate uh, why we look at our project at the core of the Natalie Care Framework. Because it is a framework that appreciates, as I said, good health for our children. If a child doesn't have good health, they are not ready for school. If they do not have responsive caregiving, they don't receive responsive caregiving from the caregivers, they are also not psychologically, even health-wise, ready for school. Safety and security of our children and also opportunities for learning. We have been dealing with uh, support groups for the mothers and also the father of other support groups whereby we have been engaging uh, the different groups in terms of issues of nutrition, uh, trying to show them how best they can be in, uh, in terms of uh, the healthy diets, the healthy diets being the food groups, the tech food groups, whereby we talk about those are for the adults, but seven of the children. Uh, in terms of the nutrition, we have been engaging on issues of uh, trying to tell them about the healthy diets. Those are also about the food groups, the seven food groups necessary for the children, but we say in every meal, from our we ensure that they get four out of the seven, but we ensure that three, we have about five times in a day, we have had. Uh, we have given uh, the PD health sessions, whereby on the ground now, they identify the food which are really available to them, accessible, but cost effective, to ensure that uh, the burden is not much of them, they will be in a position to feed their children in the best which are possible. And that comes from them. They are the ones who tell you uh, about the food groups. We have told them, we talk about the food groups and uh, we tell them these are the foods which belong to this food group. Then they tell us this is what is not available for us. This is what is available for us in terms of the other food groups. Then we tell them if you combine it, it's a program which runs for 12 days. Because in every group you find their tent, but there is a training for the first two days. They are trained on what it can be done. Then every palette in, uh, in that group will take care of one day and they do it as it's supposed to be done. Then they take that information back home and they, they, they are in a position to, uh, to engage and ensure that uh, the kind of food they, they feed their families is foods which are healthy and foods which are for the good interest of their children. And especially we emphasize so much on the first thousand days of a child because 
that is the beginning and is the goal that we can use to measure how the children will perform in the future. So ours is just to say the key message is very clear that we talk about exclusive breastfeeding for the past six months and from there you can continue with breastfeeding for the next for up to two years as we introduce complementary feeding. I have my team and I, I feel it's good for them like we are having a nasty presentation in like this. It's good to hear from the horse mouth that whatever they do, how they carry out the eye child uh, immunization with them. Also with us we are having the community health assistants who are healthcare workers but working at the community level. Nutrition inclusion in child care development is very critical because we know uh, apart from the components of nurturing care, we know we are having quite a number of components in care for child development which really affects our children if it's not taken care of. One of them being the feeding practices followed by caring practices and also hygiene at our informal settlement and I don't know why, but our informal settlement is usually like given a challenge and then now even health seeking behaviors. Where we are seated, we, we are in the middle, we are not in the informal settlement, but our neighbors are in formal settlements. So then we, we feel that it is a great milestone we've moved when Kanko came in. Uh, when the Kanko team came in and they came just before COVID, and we engaged quite a number of healthcare workers. They were trained almost with other partners because what happens in health, we integrate a lot of partnership. So with the government and the partners, we were able to train uh, a number of over 60 healthcare workers on care for child development and also almost 50 healthcare workers on child care. And with that, we were also able to train the community health volunteers on the same. Now the healthcare workers were able to cascade to the health to the community health volunteers and we trade over a hundred of them not only limited to this area but also in other areas of our sub-county then after that the healthcare workers and the community health volunteers were able to cascade to the community level and this was done in different components like even as in health we were able even to train the early childhood uh, teachers, and I'm so glad that I've seen quite a number of them they've come here to witness that they were part of the trainings. And uh, with that now we were able to cascade and able to move on in the, at the community level. At the community level we've done quite a number of activities supported by Kanko. One of them is we usually have health days for nutrition, whereby we carry out supplementation for vitamin A and duomi every six months. So Kanko has come in hard to support us during those activities. Also, we were able to continue carrying out support groups, both at community level and at facility level. And the beneficiaries part of them are here, these children we are having today here. And I'm so grateful to say that uh, with that we were able to integrate with our management of acute malnutrition and management of malnutrition as a whole at community level whereby our community health volunteers have been very key and uh, one of the components we are utilizing in Nairobi and more so it will be taken up in other parts of the country it is a new component of management at community level Philip mentioned it that it is about positive deviance harm whereby mothers are brought together they learn how to take care of their children as they put key messages on caring, feeding, hygiene, and help seeking within their area. So they utilize resources within the community. Everything comes from them. The only now thing is that we integrate with the facility whereby we link them to the facility for immunization and also for supplementation of vitamin A and the woman and for treatment in case these children get sick. The other thing is we integrate with our, with our community health volunteers, ensuring that they follow up these children 
from the time they sit together and they follow the map in their house. With the Kanko, we've done so many things together. You can see, I have a group of teachers. And in Kenya, we have the alphabet and we have the public schools. And Kanko did not separate. We want to train the public and we want to train the, 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 the alphabet. So all of us, we are here represented. I just want to give, before I say something, the teachers who are trained by Kanko, and they have gone ahead to do what it takes in the classroom. So from the public side, I have Alice. I'm teacher Alice. I'm a preschool teacher by profession. I teach in PP, that is the second level. Uh, in school, we have to integrate the children. So in our, in our school, we have a, a whole special unit dealing with all kinds of disabilities. But we don't call them disabled. We say that they are able differently. So those kids who are able differently, we need to accommodate them in our, our normal setup classes, which are not so friendly. So that is where now we will come in, because we need help. In our classes, like in my class, it is up there, we have stairs, and we have those kids. Some of them, they are in wheelchairs. Some of them, they are their legs. They are not OK, but they are walking, but they are not walking well. So can we say that our environment is friendly? No. So we need help because we have to provide education for all of them. And we can't say that they are not going to learn. They are going to learn. And we have them in our classes. And we do when we get them. Sometimes we worry because we have to, we have the, the program. We have to adapt the program. We adapt the environment, and we have to, to change ourselves, change our mentality and our habits to accommodate all these kids because we, we should love all of them the way they should be loved because they are good <coughs> So, in our school, we have tried. We have tried very much. We have good toilets uh, which have handles for those who are not able to. Uh, uh, yeah. And we have also good paths for wheelchairs. But for stairs, it's still a, a challenge. So we are doing all we can in, in the school setup. On the private side, we have Mixella. Uh, I come from the Herbert schools. The Herbert schools are these schools that we find in the schools that are not recognized in Kenya as schools. We have this motion that is we are passing the, public, the parliament of moving that the, the public school should be recognized. So in our schools we have, we have integrated, we have these learners, we integrate them with the others. We don't have the special unit with them. So we make them there, we have so many problems, we don't have special toilets for them, we don't have uh, any nutrition for them. So for the cargo, you trained us, thank you for that. But we need to be helped on our schools on how to handle these learners on the special things that they need. When you come to our schools, you find the learners are there. Some will come in the morning and tell you, teacher, I'm hungry. Teacher, I not have a drink in the morning. So it's up to you as the school director of the head teacher to see on what to do to this learner. And you find we rely on the feet that is made by the parents. And our parents are so poor in the slums. They even opt not to pay. So it's up to you as the director to see what can I do to this about this. So, Kago guys, we need you to help us. We have those challenges, but from what we are we received from our training, mostly in the inclusion side, we include these learners in our programs. We have had we, there are no challenges we are having because teachers they have the knowledge how to go about with these learners. To add on again, they have that knowledge, because in schools even we cook. Through from the school, the, the school head we know what to give the learners. And that knowledge, we got it from Kanko. If it were not Kanko, you know our children would have been malnourished, malnourished, 
and also we have those children who have challenges just from home when they come to us. But through the knowledge we got from Kanko, from the trainings we had, mostly from the child care department, nurturing care, and we had even how to, they, even they brought those who came with the CBC. They taught our learners how to go about, how to teach, how to group our learners, what to do in class. So you see, Kanko has really supported us from down, from, because the, the doctor has talked about the 100 days. You see, if we get a challenge from that side, coming to our side, we are going to get more challenges. But if the mothers in the house, they have been trained what to do, when you are having that child in your womb, from the day one, day zero, up to when they come to us at four years, at three years, you see now, we don't get many challenges from the community nowadays. Because everyone is somehow, they have been educated. And that is especially, Embassy South, you have really received much from Kanko. And maybe to help our teacher here, it is the first thousand days. I felt it good for me to elaborate what that means. It means we take care of the mother from the first day of her conception up to the time our child is two years. So those days, all of them summed together, it adds up to 1,000 days. So then we do a lot of care there, and now that's where we are coming in. Wa Martina na itwa Elizabeth Mungi. Mimi ni CHB. She is one of our community health volunteers. So nataka kushukuru sana na nishukuru sana kwa sababu ya siku ya leo. She is so grateful because of today. Mimi zikukuku wa mana ni mekuja iko. Yeah, she says that in the midst of the challenges of her leg, she has made it to this place. <laughs> uh, for her to witness that the day has come, yes. you people you are here, she heard that we will be having visitors, so she has said she will come where she is. <laughs> She's grateful to Kanko for the great support we received. Uh, it's Kanko's support which has made her to be here today. She's so grateful because of the training she has received. As community and volunteers. She's so grateful. Kwa mana hiyo inetusaidia sana kifanya kazi na kujiaishisha, iso training nime kupatia. Yeah, with the training, it has been easy for them to work at community level. Na tunashitu mana kumepata skills, kumepata knowledge. Ya bine tunayasa kupanya kwa community. Yeah, they've received great skills and knowledge on how to work at the community level. Kama hii training ya about nature and care. Training about nature and care. About the that is the child care. Because of the end to go on a challenge, come Before then, they had a lot of challenges. We could not get a house to house as a CHB to put a mama and toto, you go Eh, sasa tuwewe tuseme nini tuangalie nini kwa kati ya tuku kwa tumepata isi tuwewe. Before they were trained, they would get to the households and they could not tell how they are going to tackle a case which keeps them charged and then, now with this, they are able to do it. Na tukia patina na mama, mtoto ni mgoja wa meyadirika, sasa tukiaza kumwelezea na kumambia hii kurobo wa wanafe, kuna sama ufrika, sasa kumibi kwa na aso. They would try to tell, because they do not have a lot of uh, skills and knowledge, they would tell their, their caregivers that the children are unwell and the caregivers would say, this is witchcraft, and they would not understand what these people are saying. But Wakati, when you train us, Wakati to be part of your knowledge, to be better, because us are going to now just see the confidence of what we are not in some child, yeah, now once they got the skills and knowledge, they are able to convince the community that it is not witchcraft, 
the child is just unwell or the child is just sick and they are able to give the right skills and knowledge on how that job can be taken care of. They are able to go with the weighing scales. Yeah, now with that, after the assessment, they can tell those children who need interventions and they are able to refer accordingly. Yes, we refer them to our facility and then to Kusanya, to our mama, to our family, to Kusanya, a group of 10. Yeah, now, uh, those ones with problems, they are referred, or those with complications, they are referred to the health facility. But if they get children who are uh, moderately malnourished, or wasted, or they are adults at community level, they will bring them together. And as I had mentioned earlier, we are having management of malnutrition at community level, so the 12 days they carry out during that. Yeah, she can say what they do. So, since come and see the GDs, we have a letter from Moja. For 12 days, we have a letter from Moja. We have a letter from Moja. We have a letter from Moja. Uh-huh, they teach them on how they can feed their children looking into the food groups for the children as it had been mentioned earlier by feeding. Because what that is to take care of to Yeah, they've also visited daycare where children are left at a care. But we have in a daycare manager will come to tell us. So when when they were visiting those daycares, they could still get that children only be given one type of food or two. And then they taught them on the food groups. They say that uh, after the 12 days of the positive deviance had whereby they come together, they are learning together and cooking together. The children are easily gaining weight. Yes, they are following them even after the talk days, they follow them up in their households and they, are, they see whether the caregivers or the parents or the mothers are following what they learned during the talk days at home. She says that the caregivers are here, you will see them. Yeah, she says that this training has also really helped them because they are able to intervene from when the mothers are pregnant and even as the children continues to grow. Yeah, so then she's enhancing on the 1,000 days. My name is Agnes. I'm the host today. We have a facility that lives within us. We are church based, but we work together with the support under the leadership of Dr. Omino. He has a lot of help. We also want to come home because they have no help to us. Uh, I am in the Department of Immunization, that's why I'm here because I do a schedule in. For the children that come home, uh, that the, the nutritionist, we our nutritionist is here also. Um, the schedule for the for the that is scheduled for the government, we do immunization yes, and we also assist them in uh, trainings. They have been of help to us because we they have taught us on um, on health education. Uh, mainly in uh, nutritional areas, and we are grateful for them. We work with the community health volunteers, and these community health volunteers, their great work is to identify any health issue from the house household level. And when Kanko came in, we were able to go through a lot of trainings through Kanko 
whereby our community health volunteers were empowered on how to identify the children who would require any services along a child. This including family work, including nutrition, immunization, and nurturing care framework. Uh, through the empowerment, through trainings, we have a number of community health volunteers who have been working and working a journey with these parents. Because identification for any health issue starts as the time you meet with this household person. And some of them were identified at the level when they were pregnant through family mock testing. Because mothers would go through the family mock testing, they were identified and they were referred to the healthcare facilities where the health cares have been working that journey together and helping these parents get what they required. Also, the children at the ANC clinics, at the PNC clinics, and at uh, growth and monitoring clinics. And after identification, we've been able to, uh, to follow them up. And that's why you can see, as Anne was saying, some of these children came in when they couldn't walk. But through the intervention of the community health volunteers, keeping on following and telling them what they should do through the, the trainings they've received, now our children are able <coughs> and are studying a better, a better place. So I'm um, here to say we are very grateful to Kanko because of partnership with us, working for the betterment of our community. Because at level one, we really look for uh, good health for our community. We we'll also have a slogan where we say, Afia yetu, jukumuletu. That's our help, our responsibility. We have a father here. I'll ask him to kindly stand. And if possible, you bring me those two princes. We want to see them here on behalf of the rest of the children. We've also been able to do a case study with them uh, and a committee with them. And they have been entered in a competition with British Airways. We hope we are going to win. All right? So kindly, Baba Precious and Peace. Uh, in Kenya, people believe uh, in witchcraft a lot. Eh? <laughs> and, uh, but because of the trainings, the empowerment, the support, that we have been able to give them through the community of promoters and the healthcare workers, we are happy and excited to see that these children are ready to, tra to transition to school. No, our total are willing. These babies, they are twins. Wakashi, Kango, Walianza, Walianza, Iyoke Kundi. When Kango started the support groups, Walianza, Pa. When we approached them for the positive deviance had, he was asked whether the children would be taken to another area for them to be taught how to feed and care. Na sisi, kwa upande wangu mimi Niwezekani niache kazi niwa na webano watoto kwa njia nikaona niwezekani So he felt that he can't leave his work the area he goes to work so as he can take those children to be taken for the uh, hard session somewhere else he said it was not possible Lakini kwa njia ingine wani CTV wani tumianga wani tumia ni ilikuwa njambu sahi sana the, the community health volunteers used a special way to him, and it helped him. They borrowed a place within their residence for them to be able to carry out the sessions at that place near the household. That time the children were not doing well. The one who is 
Nipe mata. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa ameshindwa sana. Amesidiwa sana tu. Hata mimi nilikuwa naona mtoto huyu mtoto atakuwa. The child that one with the mom was not doing well. Like he was feeling that the child may not make it. Lakini leo. But today. Ah watoto. Naona nafurahia. Nakumbuka mali. He sees the children. He is happy because he has seen that he has gained knowledge and he has now a testimony. Wakati mafunzo tuli mama alikuwa anapata mafunzo ya ya kupikia watoto chakula. Nilikuwa nakufuatilia sana. When the wife was receiving the knowledge, he would ask her what they are learning and he would follow up on the progress of learning. Ndio maana hii siku ya leo. That's why today umeniona hapa. You've seen him here. Ju kama ingekuwa Singepata manufa katika kikundi ya kago, singe kuja. If he had not benefited at all, he wouldn't have come today. Iyo malezi, ime nisaidia hawa watoto sana. Kutoka wanzu kupikiwa, walikuwa na mesita. When they started being in the program, they were just six months. Lakini ungejua, kama watoto, ngili wao, utakuwa sawa. At that time, you didn't believe that they would be okay. Uwa kati, kuna mama, hamejitolea, akasi mama hapa. Uwa na mwitanga mama hamu. Juhu, huku na robi sina mama. So she says that the help for the mtia who was here, he calls her mom. She has walked the journey with them. Hamenishika mkono kwa kulea watoto. Kwa mafunzo, juhu. She has been offering knowledge and skills because these they are first babies. They do not have knowledge. So our community health volunteer has been very supportive to this family. Kwa malezi, walikuwa na wanapati wanabia mama wapikia watoto jugu wanajugu inanuliwa mayai. He is not remembering the ingredients they used during the hard sessions, but he can remember there were peanuts and there were eggs. In the we have a menu, a standard menu for the hard sessions. Lakini yao watoto, wakati ndiwa pikiya, uya neto, aneto peace. That girl who is playing aloud there, she is called peace. Wakati nianza kumpatia, juu ya likuwa mkupo kidoko tu, na uyo likuwa minyemelewa. Wakati nianza kumpatia, mtoto wakanzo kupatu na ilo mbubu, hata anayasi. Kimisimamisha kwa mbubu, unawana na mbubu nianza kupatu na ilo mbubu. When they were put in the program, within a short while, that baby at first was not doing well. But after that, they noted that the child had killed him and strength. The child would start by itself. Lakini kwa hiyo njia atumbatia chakula. Ikawa, tutoto walikuwa minyemilewa, hata wengine walikuwa minyambia, huu mtoto mpeleke kwa mamalusi. Ano mnajua mamalusi maaliko? Now, they had been referred to our inpatient care, which is a bigger hospital. Here within our area, we are not able to offer inpatient care. So at first, they had been referred to our inpatient care. Mimi si kuwena njuu, ni wakati mtoto walianza kusimama, Nikamua huu mtoto, yona si mama, na ingali ni mdogo. Nilikuwa, hata sayi ni miu wangu na yoshia watoto wangu. So when he saw that the child had started recovering from the sessions, the hard sessions, he did not go for the impatient. So, and he says he is the one who takes care of the student, even washing them. Jo, sasa ni kama nigeachia mama, na ni muachiyo malezi. Ata ya kwa nijua kulea. Na kama nikesema, chakula takuwa napata huko. Sazi ngini wanaume. Ndiyo naona hapa leo ni kama kwa hiyo kukuni ya kuwanga peke yamu. Yeah, so he says, he did not leave caring and feeding to the mother, to the wife alone. He took it to be part of him. And that's why he is worried that he can't see men around. And he says that even in that support groups within the community, He's a man alone. 
ni vile najitolea na juie na kupea the family yangu ah uh, he out giving out to his family kwa hivyo kwa mambo ya ulezi ya kabla nimesaidia juu the support we got from Kanko is great on caring for their children ni jambo zuri nilipata kutoka kwa kwa hii kundi ya Kago kwa hao mama wakiwa uh, Elizabeth mama na naitwa Bridget hata wale wangu wanapitia na wangu wanapitia tu mambo imekuaje hiyo watoto yes no he says that he is so grateful to Kanko through our community health volunteers that he is so particular that he is grateful to Elizabeth and uh, another community health volunteer by name Bridget that they still follow him up and they, they follow to see how the children are faring or how the children are doing. You come, for example, come and get a party a million moja. When you a million moja, you will get a lot of money. You come and get a lot of money. Even if he was given money, even if he was given a million shillings, and he's told that take care of the children, without the knowledge he has received, maybe they wouldn't have made it to where they are. Kwa hivyo mimi ni nawashukuru sana. So you're so grateful today. Kwa kujitolea na kuwa na moyo wa kusaidia. For having for for having that spirit and even our guests for having that spirit of giving. Juu chenye nilipata peni through the support which we have received through our community of volunteers with Kanko and with the Minister of Health, it will carry him through his life. So I will only tell you the brief between the nutrition and the rehabilitation. You will realize when you get a child seeking rehabilitation services, when you take this child for nutrition, you may not need the, the rehabilitation. You find the child was weak because of lack of proper feeding. So at times, you go for a nutrition also and you are taken for a nutrition. So there, there's that link between the two departments. With proper feeding, you get there's no need for rehabilitation at times. Then with proper rehabilitation and proper feeding, that's good health for the, for the child. And uh, at times our mothers ask when they are sent for their for the nutrition, they are asking again taking me to nutrition. It is us who knows that they are all for nutrition with those children. And that is why our friends are here to support the program. When you come for the nutrition services, we may take you for nutrition. Because there's that link between your health and the nutrition. So with proper feeding, we get good result. So I will say you. We welcome our friends here again so that our children can have proper help. So my mum was a teacher and so hearing the teachers was especially powerful to me because education is so important and my mother, my mother taught me that from a really young age and to hear about the work that you do in the community and it's just fantastic.